Some people have asked me what it looks like on the inside of the base unit for a soda rope or a home station. And this is it. There's a, uh, an adapter, there's my pressure regulator, and there's a tube. And the tube in this case leads over to a, uh, uh, an aeroblower equipped with a uh, Fizgis compatible uh, uh, conical nozzle tip. Alright, so this is what's used to uh, inject the CO2 in your bottle. Um, Alright, so that's what you have. Adapter, regulator, tube, leading to some sort of a uh, handheld dispenser. Um, <clears throat> got a couple of bottles here I can show you. Um, both of these bottles are uh, rock hard. Alright, um, they both had uh, CO2 injected into them with this. To the tune of about 130 PSI, roughly somewhere along in there. Uh, just remember, you cannot take a device like this and stick it in to a uh, clear any of my clear valves. You'll break them. The first time you stick it in there, you've ruined it. Okay? You can on the black valves. These are football valves, so you push this thing in here, and uh, okay, you can get the reading on there. That reading is uh, somewhere close to 130 psi. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually see that or not. Um, uh, well, it really doesn't matter. It's 130 psi. Okay, so we'll take this out. <coughs> and uh, perhaps I can uh, get this to... You can see this. Uh. Alright, so I bled off the pressure there. And I uh, guess I can do the same thing with this. Uh, See if we can get this for you. All right, that's carbonated water. Very, very carbonated water. <clears throat> so, uh, let's just sit here and watch this for a little while. Uh, my timer shows um, about uh, two minutes and, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe... Uh, 10 seconds or so when that started, when I uh, uncapped it. <clears throat> We're up to 2.30 now. <clears throat> I had a customer ask me, what if you capped with a Fizz-Giz cap and did your carbonation and you um, you then uh, uncapped it so you could reuse your Fizz-Giz cap on another bottle and quickly put another regular soda bottle cap on. He wanted to know how much uh, uh, you could lose. And I figure, well, instantly you're going to lose everything in the headspace. Uh, you know, that's in there at 130 PSI. Well, it's going to drop to 15 PSI real damn fast when you uh, pull the top off. And then the rest of the CO2 molecules that are trapped between the water molecules and have to do a little bit of work in order to bubble out like they're doing. They have to push the water molecules out of the way, uh, bump into other CO2 uh, uh, gas uh, particles and kind of come together and a gazillion of them come together and form a bubble and the bubble then comes to the surface just exactly like you're seeing here. Um, my answer is okay roughly one thirteenth and I uh, I uh, just sort of figured that <coughs> this uh, space up here was about one thirteenth of the uh, rest of the space in the bottle and uh, you lose all of that so figuring there's close to three grams 2.8 2.83 something like that in a 12 ounce single serving size bottle um, then one thirteenth of that is uh, you know pretty much gone <coughs> At the higher pressures, uh, like what you saw here, um, 
Let me let me give this another another shake here. Okay, I mean, uh, okay. Yeah, you can see there's uh, there's plenty of fizzy. All right. All right. So anyway, that's uh, that's the name of that tune. I don't really know uh, uh, any other way to demonstrate <coughs> um, what happens uh, when you uncap a bottle. That's pretty much it. Your drink starts going flat, and if you leave it open long enough, it will eventually go completely flat.